Hey there, Foxy Gamers! Welcome back to another Mashinki tutorial. Today we're gonna take a look at how to modify your trains. Keep in mind this video is being made during early access and is subject to change. But for now, let's see how it's done. So what we're gonna do here is we have this train number seven that we've got. Since he's nice and close to the depot, we're gonna send him there. So first of all, what you wanna do is once your train has made the last stop that you want for now, you simply will click the go to depot button and it will stop what it's doing no matter what orders it has and head to the depot next thing. Now don't worry, you won't lose any of the things that get picked up unless you sell the cars. I will show you what happens. So for now, we'll go ahead and speed this up. He's not even really gonna collect his stuff. He was only there long enough to turn around. Now we magically disappear into the tiny little depot. It's like platform nine and three quarters. Now that we have this train here, we click on the depot and you can see these are the trains that are in the depot. You will not be able to modify them unless they're in this list. So over on the wagons page, we have our list of wagons or cars as some may call it that we can add to our train. Now all we have to do is purchase one of these and it will automatically go on here, but we can also drag it off of our train. If we don't want these on here, we can drag these off of our train or move them to anywhere we please within our train. But if you take them off of your train, you can see here, you can only put the same cars in the same row, like so. And if we wanted to buy an engine here, say I wanted to upgrade this train, I would go over here. Well, we're going to downgrade it rather because I don't have a huge amount of money to spend right now, but we'll buy this porter here. And you cannot actually put this engine on anything. You can't drag and drop the engines. That's just how the, the way the game works right now. So this engine is now train number eight and this engine is train number seven. But what we can do is if we wanted to switch the engine, is I can just put all of my cars up on this engine here, like so. And now I decided that I don't want this engine, nor do I want this mail car. I just, I don't wanna deal with that right now. So what I can do is go back over here to the info tab and I click sell and simply click whichever cars I don't want. And now you can see my train number seven has disappeared. So over here we have our new engine with our old cars and you can see we didn't lose any of the resources. The only problem here is that now we have to redo any orders that were on that train. The way the game is right now, there is no way to save your orders. So you will have to set those up again. I would highly recommend paying attention to what your orders are on the old engine before you do a new one because once your network gets super complicated, you may forget and it could be a pain in the butt to get that all set up again. But once we have that all situated, all we have to do is hit start again, unpause the game, and our train will be on its merry way. You can have as many trains as you want in the depot at one time. Once they are inside the depot and not running, the other trains will be able to cross this line here and they won't crash. So there you have it guys. That is how you modify your existing trains. I hope you found this tutorial useful and be sure to check out my other Mashinki tutorials for some other tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching, boys and berries, and until next time, stay foxy.